Max, listen, listen. Max, right here. I'm going to look after you, but I have to go help your brother. So I want you to stay right here and wait for me.
They, before language, spoken language, things were very touching and healing, and the wink and the nod carried you a great distance, and, and uh, gestural communication was very high. That's why, and I should I could say this even in the end, to me it begins and ends with these psychedelic substances. The synergy of the psilocybin in the Hollywood diet brought us out of the animal mind and into the world of articulated speech and, and imagination. And technology developed and developed and uh, mushrooms were, you know, invaded against, faded, there was migrations, cultural change. But now, having split the atom, having sequenced our genome, having taken the temperature of Babel juice and all the rest of it, we're now back where we started. And like the shaman who makes the journey into the well of darkness and returns with the pearl of immortality, you don't dwell in the well of darkness, which was human history. You capture the essence of the thing, which is the godlike power of the shaman smith, the technologist, the, the demon artificer, the worker of metals, the conjurer of spirits, and you carry that power back out of history, and it's in that dimension, outside of history, that you create a true humanness and true community, and that's the adventure that we are in the act of undertaking.
to explain what Linux is, you have to explain what an operating system is. And the thing about an operating system is that you, I mean, you're not, never ever supposed to see it because nobody really uses an operating system. People use programs uh -huh. on their computer. And the only mission in life of an operating system is to help those programs run. So an operating system never does anything on its own. It's only waiting for the programs to ask for certain resources or, or ask for a certain file on the, on the disk or ask for the programs to connect them to the outside world. And then the operating system comes, steps in and, and tries to make it easy for people to write programs.